guys, this is Mr. Robinson and this is your two minutes of math for September 15th, 2014. And in eighth grade math today, we we're focusing on what happens when you have negative exponents. Okay, so specifically we start our class by looking at an example that looked like this. What happens when you have two raised to the negative second power? Okay, and if you remember right, we tested that by seeing what that actually is equal to when we put it into a calculator. And we found out that two to the negative second power is equal to 0.25, okay? But we also said, hey, 0.25 is a decimal. This is not decimal. What would this look like if we put it into fractional form? And we agreed, after doing some guessing and checking, that 0.25 written as a fraction can be written just like 1 over 4, okay? And then we dove into it and we saw, hey, 4 can also be written as an exponent by taking get rid of the 4 and write it as 2 to the second power. Now after testing that back and forth and doing some more examples, we found that every time we had a negative ex exponent here, our answer looked almost identical to this, where we had 1 over, your exponent became positive, and we shifted our base number over. So if all was true, we could just change our numbers out. And that's what we did in class today. We found out that if we went like 3 to the negative 4th, okay, we could rewrite that as 1 over, and as soon as we did the 1 over, we could just slide, take our negative exponent and make it a positive exponent here, and then slide our base number down. And we explored it a little bit more by writing that in multiplication form to where we could say this is also equal to 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that's how we solved that problem. So for one more example, we did, I think the number was like 317 to the negative 34th power. Okay? Now that number looks intimidating, but we remembered our rule, so the first thing we did when we saw the negative exponent is just write 1 over, turned our exponent into a positive, and then slid our base number over. If we really wanted to get crazy with it, we could just get rid of most of the numbers completely to prove our point. And let's just say we took the letter A raised to the negative fifth power. And if we had a situation like this, all we would do is take our 1 over, slide our exponent, make it positive, slide our base number. That was the rule we came up with in class today, and it works every time. Thank you for your time. This was your two minutes of math for September 15th, 2014, 8th grade math.